Hello to everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Bio with Bino. In this video, we are going to see the effect of physical activity on the heart rate. In the previous videos, we have already seen how heart function and we have seen how the activity of the heart is monitored and we learned the different parts of the heart. So here we are going to deal with physical activity, how it affects the heart rate or pulse. A dressed heart beats around 70 to 72 times per minute. Okay, but it varies depending on, you know, age. Okay, then uh, gender. Okay, then uh, depending on whether the person is fit or athlete. Right, so like this, some variations will be there in the heartbeat. Okay. In the case of younger people, the heartbeat will be, uh, you know, it will be faster, okay, compared to older people. But addressed older and younger people will have almost the same number of beats, okay. So when the person become older, the muscles and all weakens, so uh, the heartbeat, uh, you know, it becomes uh, less in the case of a uh, woman or females, what happens is the heart size is smaller compared to men. Because of this reason, females have a higher heartbeat. Okay, the heart beat faster compared to male, so that the same amount of blood can be pumped out. Okay, like in the case of male. And in the case of fit people, they have lower heartbeat. You know why they have lower heartbeat? Because they need only less beats in order to pump the same amount of blood like that of an unfit person. Okay, so fit people, so they have lower heartbeats. So like this, the heartbeat or pulse rate varies from person to person. Okay, so now here we are going to see a simple investigation to prove that how the physical activity affects the heart rate. Okay, so in this simple activity, you can see uh, this, you can do it in your home also, right? In group also, you can conduct it. So in this activity, what we will do is, okay, you have to check your pulse every minutes for five minutes. So first minute, you take the pulse at rest. Okay, right? So you will get around 70 or 72. Okay, yes. Then after that, again, at rest, second minute, take the pulse rate, you will get the same. Okay, again, the third minute, you repeat. So the fourth minute, you repeat. Okay, the fifth minute, you repeat. Okay, so you can see that uh, you will get the heartbeat or pulse at the same rate, okay, uh, for every minutes up to five minutes, okay, because you were at rest, okay, and then after the fifth minute, so you can do, uh, you can do an on-spot jogging, like this, on-spot jogging. So, when you do this on-spot jogging, after every minute, you again check your pulse. Okay, you can keep the three fingers of one hand on the radial artery of the other hand and you can check the pulse. Okay, so like that. So, you can see that the sixth minute, so you started to do some exercise, some activity that is I told on-spot jogging. So, that time, you know, the heartbeat will go up, the pulse rate increases. Okay, so see, sixth minute it increased to 120, seventh minute it increased to 140. Okay, so like that you continue jogging, and so every minute you take the pulse and note down the pulse, and you can see that your pulse rate is going up. Okay, and you can see it's going up. Okay, the pulse rate and the 10th minute, okay, your pulse rate, it has reached 200 around, 200 beats, okay. So that means during exercise, the heartbeat increases, 
okay or during physical activity here the physical activity was okay on spot jogging so when we you were doing on spot jogging and when you checked the heartbeat or the pulse uh, it was going up okay so then uh, the tenth minute okay you stop the jogging but you know when you stop the jogging the heartbeat will not come down directly that time the heartbeat you know uh, see will come down you know come down slowly slowly and it become normal okay so it is like you know the 11th minute okay you after stopping the exercise okay you just wait and again after every one minute you take the pulse and just not down okay so 11th minute you can see it's coming down 12th minute again it is coming down 13th minute it's coming down 14th minute coming down 15th minute okay yes it's almost coming to normal 16th minute okay normal see then again it becomes normal so now i am connecting all these points okay so you can see i am collect, collect, connecting all these points together see you can see the graph and yes and now you can see the points okay the first five minutes this first five minutes okay uh, you were at rest so the heartbeat or pulse rate was normal from the fifth minute onwards you started doing exercise so your pulse rate or heartbeat you know increased it become you know around 200 beats per minute from 72 beats to 200 beats okay so this point here you stop the exercise okay that is right exercise this this part this is rest okay here you started the exercise okay right here you stop the exercise right then you can see the heartbeat is not coming down immediately it takes some time okay for the heartbeat to come to normal okay right so here this part you know for some people it takes more time for some people it takes less time so those people who you know it takes less time for the beat to become normal, they are very fit. Okay, fit people, right? So, fit person means they will take lesser time for the heartbeat to become normal. Okay, right? Fit people, right? So, unfit people means they will take more time for the heartbeat to become normal. Okay, so that is what you should understand from this activity. So this activity, you know, it shows how your heartbeat is affected by this exercise. Okay, so during exercise, the heartbeat go very high. Okay, right. And when you take rest, uh, you know, it comes down okay, slowly to normal. Right. And, you know, uh, why it is like this and all, we will learn when we learn about respiratory system. Okay, right. So now we learned now heartbeat, how it is affected by physical activity. Now already in the previous videos, I told heartbeat, you know, is originated within the heart itself. It starts from the right atrium. Okay. But now today I'm going to tell you something, uh, you know, new that is, you know this heartbeat even though it is originating from the right atrium of the heart this beat can be controlled by the brain okay here you can see the brain okay and now i'm not going into the structure of the brain but you can see a spot here and this is red uh, you know you can see the red color area this is 
the medulla oblongata. Okay, cerebrum, cere cerebellum, medulla oblongata. These are the parts of the brain. Okay, so this medulla, it is the part of the brain. It is the hind brain part. Okay, so in the medulla, there is a center. Okay, this center is called the cardiovascular center. Okay, cardiovascular center. From this center, you know, uh, there is a nerve which, you know, there is a nerve uh, which goes to the sinoatrial node in the right atrium of the heart. Okay, this nerve is the part of the sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system. Okay, right. Then another nerve is also there, starting from the cardiovascular center of the brain to this SAN. Okay, this is part of parasympathetic nervous system. Okay, right. So sympathetic nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system. Okay, this you will learn about uh, in detail when you learn this coordination and response okay so this heartbeat is controlled by this cardiovascular center of the brain okay that means when you exercise you know your muscles need more oxygen okay so you know there are nerves they carry messages to this cardiovascular center that your muscles are in short of oxygen okay because more carbon dioxide, right? So you're doing some activity. So immediately, you know, what will happen? Ah, the message will come through this, okay, sympathetic nervous system to the sinoatrial nerve, okay, to increase the heartbeat, so that the heartbeat increases, so that more blood can be pumped to the muscles. Okay, right? So then, after the event, after the exercise, okay, uh, so here you can see the exercise stopped, okay, then immediately, you know, the message will come from the cardiovascular center of the brain to this SAN through this parasympathetic nervous system to slow down the heartbeat. Then what will happen, you know, the heartbeat will slow down, okay, so remember, uh, our heartbeat is controlled by the brain, the cardiovascular center in the medulla of the hind brain. This controls and not only regarding physical activity, okay, uh, if you are going to participate in a competition, okay, a running race, okay, or, uh, you know, uh, a singing competition, okay, you will have some tension. So, in all these cases, you know what will happen? This part will send, uh, you know, message to the sinoatrial nerve to increase the heartbeat. But after the event, you will be relaxed. So again, message will come from the cardiovascular center to slow down the heartbeat. So like that, heartbeat can be regulated by the cardiovascular center of the brain. Even there are some hormones like adrenaline secreted by the adrenal gland. Okay, adrenaline also can uh, increase the heartbeat by influencing the sinoatrial nerve. Okay, right. So this is all about the effect of physical activity on the heart rate. Okay, I hope that you understood this session and thank you everyone.